What type of home ownership do you have? Do you own or rent your home? Um, well, I own farmland, but I still live with my parents. So, what do you want to? Well, put that in? okay. Um, how do we? Uh, guess. I guess I'm a renter. Yeah. Do you pay your parents? No. But they own the home. They yeah. own the home. Yeah. So, so here's just... how we're doing. <laughs> hey, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Hey, why pay rent money? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could. See, the tariff with the cons, I, I was going to, if that didn't happen, I'd be moving out to the right. wrong place, but now I may be at home another year. Right. <laughs> oh, man. You said your own farmland? Mm hmm Okay. So, is the house a single detached family house? Mm -hmm. Approximately how long have you lived there? Um, 16 years. Oh. In that one house. 2002? Oh, yeah, yeah, since 2002. Okay. <laughs> See you, <laughs> guys, too. <laughs> My brain's almost joining. Oh, it is. Um, so, how did y'all end up where you are in Housing County? Uh, well, my family was, was, my mom's side was from here. They, they farmed here. I mean, I just, I've been here forever. Born and raised. Mm -hmm. No plan to leave. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So, your family's from here. Uh -huh. So, y'all. You've never left mm -hmm. the house. Is it just Houston County? I've never left Houston. Houston? Okay. I mean, I went from Warner Robins to Kathleen. But, <laughs> yeah. Stayed in Houston County. Yep. So, fit you, y'all's family has farmland here. Is that what? Or um, her dad did. I, my parents don't farm. They, they build houses, but. Mm -hmm. um, So they've just never. Your parents haven't left. Mm -hmm. No reason to. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of house do you live in? Like what kind of house is it? Uh, just it's um all brick, shingle roof, crawl space. I'd like to say well insulated if we're talking about energy. So mm -hmm. it's it's fairly large, <laughs> high ceilings, lots of glass. So What's the square footage you think on it? Um, 45, 4,000. Okay. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of it's not livable, you know, it's mm -hmm. just ceilings. Right. So how tall are the ceilings? Uh, I guess <laughs> some of them are probably 20 foot in one spot. Oh. Maybe 16. So, do y'all have rooftop solar on your house? We do not. We do not. So, why do you not? Well, I guess in 2002, it wasn't, it wasn't as common. What it, it probably made a lot of advancements since then. But I know in 08, my dad built a house for somebody, and it wasn't a solar panel, but it was a um, hot water heater, basically pipes on the roof, you know, and it heated oh. the water. From the sun? Mm -hmm. What would you call that? Oh. It's still a type of yeah. solar. So That's it would have been cool. solar, that only, but it only heated the hot, the water? Mm -hmm. Did it get at a hot, enough, hot enough temperature? That, apparently, I mean, he still had a hot water heater, but I guess it only kicked on if he needed it. Oh, so nice. it was, He hadn't called him and said it broke or something. Right. <laughs> and since 08. That's nice. Uh, and it's still going in 18. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, if it was available, well, would you have the the voice to have, if it was an option, to put rooftop solar on? Not on that house. No, not on that house. On, maybe on my own, on my personal house. So, would you be interested if it was an option for your personal home? I'd like to see um, savings if it, after five years or ten years. You know, I want to see if it's, if it's cost efficient. Instead of paying, you know, five hundred a month to pull in energies, right. if say a solar panel was thirty grand, but if you could make up for it after eight years, you know. mm -hmm. and I guess some neighborhoods we don't live in neighborhoods, mm -hmm. but some people probably don't want to look at it. I know there's one off of uh, there's one on Houston Lake Road that's got a solar panel on this house. Where off of Tammy uh, Circle, North South Tammy Circle. Um, off South Houston Lake. Mm -hmm. 
over there by Walker's, uh, Walker's Grill. Yep, go up past, so you go through the red light past the convenience stores. Get and, Shell. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then on the right, you'll see Cammy Circle after Walker's Grove. South, right. South County. Yeah. When you pull in there, somebody would have sold that on the house. Really? I should have interviewed them. You should. <laughs> just go show You can <laughs> find it. You just drive yeah. through there and they, they had like an open house about two years ago about it. Really? Hmm. I'm going to go stop by. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, what do you think would be the best way to find out the cost benefit of having a rooftop solar? I guess the company selling them would try to try to push you not want to push their product i mean by saying hey after mm -hmm. five years of running this you've paid for the system and savings so do you think it'd be helpful just to have an educational education in some way that mm -hmm. gives you that cost benefit because unless you just put one in based on emotion to help to help the earth i mean you're not gonna it's like i got a lot of irrigation wells more so in houses mm -hmm. um you know if it costs uh, basically like a, a dollar an hour to irrigate mm -hmm. sometimes with electricity mm -hmm. so the panel has to pay be able to pay for itself after a while right. why would i buy one if it's not cheaper than the uh, electric co-op you know right so would you use it on more of your irrigation houses than putting it on a house I would use one on a on a well to power a well if it was um if it was cost if it if it was affordable mm -hmm. and if it didn't take up a, a half acre of land you know because there's some places I can't fit panels in you know right right but I would try one out and if they say if the government well, if they give me a tax credit for using one. Because you have, on your farmland, what are you, what's on it? The pecans? All, all pecan trees. Mm -hmm. I guess I have, I don't know, there's so much, my electric bill is a thousand a month for one well. Right. It's, it's from Hawkinsville, that's the most expensive. I think the smaller the co-op, the higher their rate is. Right. You get up here at Flint Energies, they're lucky. They So you can be farming out in Fort Valley. Yeah. But. Flint Energies has all the money coming from Warner Robins. Right. So your power isn't as expensive as a smaller town. How many wells do you have? Um, I'd have to add them up. I guess probably 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And each, does each one have its own bill? Mm -hmm. Most as of the time, well? yeah. um, I think it's 12 wells. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just a rough that I was thinking. Yeah. That's a lot of wells. And that is. It's a lot of electricity. But how many pecan trees do you have? Uh, 300 and almost 350 acres. Worth that has mm -hmm. pecan trees. That's a lot of acres. Okay. Let's see, it comes down if you have a huge farm with a mm -hmm. big well and expensive power. Right. So maybe you could do some panels. Yeah. But like a small 10 or 20 acre farm. Right. If the power bill is only 100 a month. Yeah. It's hard to justify a panel to run a small well. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're so when you run do you have to run each of your wells? Mm -hmm. They run they run most like So people. does it cost you about twelve thousand dollars a month? Um no, they it no. probably cost about uh fifteen thousand a year. Hmm. Cause there's some months like April you don't hardly run. Oh, then come right. peak time, July, August, September is when it. So when yeah. everybody builds their works. Yeah, <laughs> right. And how how long do you run your wells during those peak seasons? Twelve, well, twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. So, uh, or either twelve. It depends if you irrigate this whole table at once. It'd be twelve hours if you have a split path. Twelve, twelve. So the well never cuts out. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Turn yourself to the right Where the map's at? Oh, there you go. Now you get to talk about the whole U.S. Yeah. <laughs> so, draw a color right where you think the most solar is used across the U.S. Where I think the most solar is used in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Just, just, just mark it up. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can color it, write it, however you want to. Identify those places. I'd say there's solar here, 
somewhere in South California. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to try to find Taylor County as accurate <laughs> as I can. Right. Because I know there's some solar panels. Well, keep the yeah. okay. There's at least the. <laughs> yeah, we got the Georgia map too. Now. The. Mm -hmm. um, man, I wish I did. All right, I know there's lots of wind tower. I've seen. In Illinois, I drove through. I've seen the wind things before. Mm -hmm. But I know we got some solar in Taylor County, Dooley County. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to go with uh, that's Nevada and California. Mm -hmm. um, Arizona, is that right here? Mm -hmm. No, that's New Mexico. No, that's New Mexico. That's New Mexico. That's yes, Arizona. That's Arizona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say Arizona has some. It's a real test of your geography in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then maybe, maybe just a few in New Mexico. Okay. So why do you think Southern California, Nevada, and Arizona would have more right there? Less cloudy day than Georgia. <laughs> like, like, today? Today? <laughs> like today? Like <laughs> today? I'm, you know. So, yeah. Cali. Yeah. Arizona. Mm -hmm. Nevada. And then a few in Georgia. And a few in Georgia. Duly and... Right. Why do you think those people would have more? Um, well, Compared they, to Houston County. A vast area, like a desert. You can't farm it. You can't... People aren't really building or living on it. And like I said, it's uh, very few cloudy days. So, a great spot for them. And uh, meet the demand of uh, those bigger cities in that area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what about Georgia? Where do you think there's more solar in Georgia? Uh, I'd say your average person would think somewhere in North Georgia, but I'm going to go with, uh, all right, if this is Houston, Peach, this must be Taylor County right here. Um, yeah, that's Peach. Yeah, that's Peach. Crawford. Yeah, that's probably it with Taylor. Okay. So I know in Butler on Highway 96. <laughs> right. There is, a, there's a bunch of There panels. is a heap of panels mm -hmm. here. Yep. Now, where is it in Dooley, though? There's some off I-75, I think. Okay. Now, here's Dooley. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm, I'm, all right. We're going to say Highway 96, mm -hmm. I-75. Mm-hmm. And there's some by the exit ramps in Dooley. Okay. And then I know there's a farmer somewhere down in this way, I think, that was running, somehow running his business mm -hmm. with solar panels. But, uh, okay. Now, we didn't get those solar panels completed at the base, did we? With Houston County. They were supposed to. Oh, they put some on Robbins Air Force Base? They were supposed to. Oh, okay. That's the only two I can think of in Georgia. Oh, Taylor but State. anywhere else you thought you said they might have them? Mm -hmm. that, I, that I think they would have them. Mm -hmm. We could circle that, too. There's got to be something in Metro Atlanta. Right. Why would you think that? Uh, well, I mean, it's just that. You know, you can put one on top of a building up there. I mean, you know. So do you, well, I guess you kind of described, but do you know any specific friends in Georgia or anywhere that has solar on their roof? I do not. Nope. Okay, is there anything else you want to add? Um, I think... Yeah, I think, I think if a company showed true data where they say, hey, this is cheaper in, in five or eight years mm -hmm. than buying from your George Power or Flint Energies or whoever, mm -hmm. you know, or you could always sell back what you have after you, you power your well or your chicken house or whatever, right. you can sell it back on the line to Flint, distribute it. So you think it would be beneficial for farmers? Yeah, if it's income. But this is my thing. I tell people all the time, this is what I'd love for you to drive home in your, all right, take an area mm -hmm. like Taylor County. Mm -hmm. They tell me that that part right there was poor land. You know, they graze cows, they cut hay. Mm -hmm. It wasn't fertile land for peaches or row crops or produce or whatever. Right. All right, and as you know, when you leave Middle Georgia and you head towards Columbus, the mm -hmm. land changes. Yeah. So what more of a perfect place for solar panels than non-arable land? Right. My opinion, I, like Iowa, you know, if that land is best suited for growing crops, mm -hmm. 
do it if it land is best suited for development do it all right so if you have an area like parts of bibb county parts of say crawford where it's real sandy that you can't really farm it you can't grow good pine i say on your non-arable land needs to be solar panel don't take the cream of the crop land for solar panel right okay that's always been my opinion yeah you know yeah there's no right or wrong answer but i like because it makes sense i mean an exit ramp they can't do anything with an exit ramp Right. You really right. don't want to grow something no. right. in the middle then, of all this fuel being put yeah. out. Right. And then this this landowner, I'm assuming, you know, they said it it, uh, it struggled with pines, and it's it's just it wasn't a usable space. Its best use use was either grazing a few cows or solar panels. It wasn't a top notch. Oh, that's why they inserted those yeah. solar panels mm -hmm. there because it wasn't growable. Yeah. Wasn't getting production out of it. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay, that's why all the solar panels are out there. there she's crazy. I always said that. I said there's it's a lot. It's, it's acres it's of probably solar panels I think right I've there. Driven by on. You have. You can't miss it. You can't. It was right. It's right off of what's ninety six. Ninety six. Go to Columbus. You'll see. It, it sits yes. off to the right, and there's a line of solar panels. I think I drove by it when I was driving from Savannah. Yeah. Because I don't drive through Columbus much. Mm-hmm. Okay.